Hello everybody out there on YouTube, my name is Chris Nicholson. Uh, right now I'm going to show you my keyboard vault. I call it the KMN Keyboard Vault and I'm going to show you the reason why. You see that board right over there? That board uh, is going to be added to my room so I can add more keyboards. Okay, so let's go in. First thing that's going to greet you when you go into my room, you actually get to see there's two keyboards right there. One of the finest keyboards. Here's um, This is a Casio MZ2000 keyboard. I and mean, I can't believe the sound off of it. I'm going to show you a demo that is on here. bad for a Casio keyboard, right? This is one of the very rare Casio keyboards. Uh, not that many people have that. Right above it, I have a PSR S910. This is one of my newer keyboards. Uh, let me show you the demo of that. PSR S910 has a color screen, and it, it, they call it basically the Tyros 2 Plus. The reason for the Plus is because it has all the features of the Tyros 2, plus it has some features of the Tyros 3. But it is wonderful to me. Okay, now, moving right along, my keyboards, I have tons. I have them wall to wall. Well, there's a space empty right there. That's where the other board's going to go. This shelf over here is going to slide over. Um... I have tons. There's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, pros, I got little keyboards, I got lighted keyboards, and I got a grand piano. Now, I told you about uh, some of my videos, the grand piano. Now, I'm going to show you this. This grand piano is hooked up to my uh, PSRS 910. The reason of that, also is hooked up to my computer, um, it has a Yamaha Disclavera right on it. So, I am going to play, press the play button right here, it's going to play Dizzy Fingers. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. It's going to play Dizzy Fingers. I'm going to press the, um, the uh, play button, and here we go. It's a real piano. I rebuilt it myself. This piano, when it, I should have showed you pictures of what it looked like before, it was ugly. But it sounded good. So I took it, I rebuilt it, and I snatched a player out of it, out of, out of um, another piano company. Actually, they sold it to me. Um, this over here is my MT wall uh, as an MT keyboard for Casio. There's an MT240. That was my first Casio keyboard, and it's still in mint condition, and it still plays good. Now that demo tune, that's by Nightbirds, um, but it still works. I got its little brother. Uh, this is the uh, MT540. I should say bigger brother because all it is is the same thing as a 240, but it has um, sound effects. And down here I have a PSS uh, 380, which is pretty cool. Now speaking of PSS keyboards, I have a full PSS wall. Starting from the bottom, I have three of these: PSS 480, this is PSS 51. This is a PSS uh, 790 and a PSS 680. And I have a PSR 47, a 38, and over here I have a 48. I love this keyboard. Let me let you hear it. Very nice, 
keyboards, right? I'm gonna make videos of all of these keyboards when I um, when I get a chance. Down here, this is um, another one of the keyboards I have. I have two of them. This is what I had in my junior high school years. Um, this is a CT670. Playing a Paula Abdul demo. As I said, I'm going to do videos on all of them. But they're all sweet. Now, down here I have... Uh, one of the pro keyboards, which is, uh, has a, uh, my SD card on here. Um, this is a PX330 from Casio. That's a brand new keyboard I just got. And here's another brand new monster. This over here, this Casio keyboard does not act like a Casio keyboard. This is a WK7500. Uh, and let me let you hear a sample of that. This is the, one of the newest workstations from Casio. Um, sorry about the lighting, but I'm gonna when I do these separate videos of all my keyboards, I'm gonna show you different. Um, you know, I'm gonna have different lighting on there. Um, I have everything from a Korg i3. This is a General Music S2. Here's my Korg T2. I had a T3 and a T1, and um, the, the T T3 was nice, but too small for me, and the T1 was just too huge and heavy. Over here. I have, uh, this is, um, what's it going to say, a Roland Phantom X8, and I have a PA50, I have, um, this is a Yamaha PSR SQ16, I got Techniques, General Music, I got a PSR85 up there, here's some WKs, the WK500's right over there, DJX, and I got Tone Bank keyboards, I got other PSRs, oh, I forgot to tell you about this guy, I don't know if I did already in the video, but this is my bodyguard. He guards this vault. So if you try to take a keyboard out of here, he'll come and chase you and he'll bat you down. He might he might eat you. He's big, you know. So he he can do that. He has teeth. Um, but yeah, that's a seven foot teddy bear. Look at this little guy right over here. This is a Blue Man Group keyboard. This was given to me by a friend, and um, it's hard to see it in this light, but it's a cool keyboard. So I have I add anything to my collection. Um, right up here, this is a Casio CT640 keyboard. This is the bigger brother of the MT240. Um, the difference is that the MT240, you have a 210 sound tone bank, which is 20 sounds. And right here, you have 30 sounds, uh, which is um, 465 tone tone bank. But same rhythms, really nice. Um... Another thing that I have down here, this is my M1 module, and my M1R, I'm sorry, M1R module, and M1R EX. But I have a lot of stuff here, and I love all my stuff. I'm going to show you different videos of them. Uh, a lot of people say, where do I sleep? I'll show you. Here's my bed right here, and I know my room is a lot bigger without all the stuff but uh... yeah he stays up there while i sleep down here and those <laughs> it was one time funny story is that i was having a nightmare and you know i was tossing and turning and he fell on top of me <laughs> and i really jumped out of my skin because i didn't know what the hell was happening to me but um... yeah we have all these keyboards here um... here's there's some lk lighted keyboards YouTube, if you have any questions on any of my keyboards, um, even the bear, um, give me a give me a, a message back and please sus subscribe to my um, you know my page, and I'll be happy to um, assist you with anything that you guys need because I know about all of these. Thank you very much, YouTube. Have a nice day.